Hi everyone, today I will be reviewing Starfish by Ekami Don Bauman. I received an e-arc of this book from the publisher in exchange for an honest review, so thank you to Simon Pulse for sending me an arc of this book. Very thankful because this was one of my most anticipated books for this year and I'm just, I feel so grateful that I was able to read it before its release. This book comes out September 29th, 2017, so pretty soon. This will be a spoiler-free review. Starfish is a YA contemporary about Kiko Himura. She struggles with quite a few things. She has anxiety that stops her from doing things she wants and from actually saying what she thinks. She has to deal with an emotionally abusive mother and Kiko is trying to get into this really amazing art school called PRISM and once she learns that she isn't accepted into this school, that was her big dream, everything seems to be falling apart and on top of everything else, her Uncle Max, who sexually abused her when she was younger, is moving back in with her, her mom, and her brothers, but then she stumbles upon her childhood best friend Jamie and things start to take a turn for Kiko. So before I get into my review, some trigger warnings for this book that are also listed on Ekami Don Bauman's website. There are trigger warnings for a toxic maternal relationship sexual abuse, and also emotional abuse. This book was everything to me. I'm gonna start off with the writing. The writing was absolutely gorgeous. I love Bauman's writing. It's so wonderful and so beautifully descriptive. Kiko is an artist and with Kiko being an artist, being in her narrative, she describes everything very artistic and I was able to picture everything really nicely in my head. So. The writing, uh, the writing and the descriptions were done very well in my opinion. At the end of every chapter there was a small description of what Kiko was drawing and I thought that was a neat idea. Art is such a huge part of Kiko and her character and personality and it just showed throughout the entire story and just the book in general and I really liked that. As for the plot and the story itself, it was slow moving but it fit the kind of story it was because it was about Kiko discovering herself and accepting herself and it was really nice to follow along her journey of making all that progress, of accepting herself and finding herself and who she is and who she wants to be. A huge part of the story is Kiko finding out what beauty and being beautiful actually is and not and that there's not just one way of being beautiful. Kiko had a very set idea of what beauty meant. With her mother being a Caucasian American, she always she always made Kiko feel even more different in, in regards of her looks because obviously she inherited both her mother's Caucasian looks and her father's Japanese looks. Um, and her mother always felt made her feel not beautiful in regards of her Japanese looks, which was really sad to read. I thought it was wonderful that Kiko realizes that she is beautiful and there are so many ways to be beautiful and that there's not just one way to be beautiful. I hope that made sense. I've said beautiful a lot of times, but that's just something that I thought was wonderful in this story. And lastly, probably my favorite part of this book is a quote and that quote would be I want to take care of myself. I don't know if this part could be considered spoilers. This is something that Kiko says and I thought it was so important because as Kiko makes this self-discovery and as she wants to make changes in her life, she refuses to be dependent on a boy while she makes these changes and she even distances herself from this boy. To be able to make these changes by herself and take care of herself and I thought that was so beautiful and wonderful. It just sends such a nice message. There's nothing wrong with being dependent on other people, but it's also nice to see that you can take care of yourself and you can make these changes by yourself without being dependent on someone else. I think that's all I have to say. Everything's spoiler-free, I have to say, about this book. So that was my spoiler-free review of Starfish by Ekami Don Bauman. If you couldn't tell by my raving review, 
I gave this book 5 out of 5 stars. I cannot wait for this book to come out and for everyone to be able to read this wonderful story. I'm definitely going to be buying a hardcover or just physical copy of this book because I also love the cover of this book. It's so beautiful. I hope you enjoyed this review. I will leave links to the author's website. Also some places where you can purchase a copy of this book. I really recommend you do because this is such an important story and I want everyone to read it. Thank you for watching. That was it for this time and I will see you next time. Bye! Actually, a sec- and... Oh, crap. Note to self, don't ever touch your hair once it looks good because you're just gonna ruin it.